for free. Thank you. No Thank charge. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Easy to spot wearing orange shirts. City volunteers help out-of-towners navigate this historic day. This is a special day. I was in the museum myself yesterday, and it's such a great feeling. It's, he was a great gentleman and um, an icon all over the world. And it's, it's great to be here to share this moment. Marcus Mohammed drove down from Chicago. I waited a whole lifetime. I really wanted to see the champ before he passed away, but as the champ passed away in his demise, yet he still lived. He'll live forever, even though his physical presence is over, but when you see what we see out here, we know that this man's name will go down in the annals history as one of the greatest, greatest men of all times. Muhammad Ali's legacy crosses many generations. Brendan says he started reading up about Ali two years ago. He's a 16-year-old from Michigan. I mean, his best quote, in my opinion, was, don't count the days, make the days count. And I, you know, I was, I just felt like, kind of like that inspired me to do anything. I, he could do anything, I can do anything. That, that's the one thing he left with me. Ali touched people in so many ways, like Teresa Bryant of Louisville, who says he helped her survive a bully in school. And she bullied me every day. And when Ollie came out with float like a butterfly and sting like a bee, they gave me courage <laughs> to, to, to do what I had to do to stop the bullying.